So you want to get Lightmatica in Minecraft 1.18.2. Well, in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to download and install Lightmatica, which is a great mod for adding in schematics to Minecraft. Schematics are basically a way that you can move things around different Minecraft worlds, easily import builds into your worlds, and easily export builds from your worlds. It allows you to take builds and move them to other worlds and do all sorts of stuff. It really is amazing what you can do with schematics and Lightmatica. And in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to download and install it. However, if you do want to know how to use Lightmatica, we have a dedicated video at the eye at the top of your screen that will show you exactly how to do that. It shows you everything you need to know once you get Lightmatica installed, how to actually use it, import schematics, do all of that stuff. This video here is simply how to install it. Nevertheless, before we install it, we have SMR Smotcher, which is Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love just them so much, so we host our own server, play our breakdowncraft.com on them, so check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on in to getting Lightmatica. What we want to do is go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is our tutorial on how to download and install Lightmatica in text format. Once you're here, just go ahead and click on the yellow download Lightmatica button to be taken to the official Lightmatica download page. We're on the right hand side. You want to scroll down and find the 1.18 section for Lightmatica and then specifically the 1.18.2 version which as we can see right there is 1.18.2. Click the orange download button next to that and after a few seconds the download will begin. You may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser. Keep it in the bottom left of Google Chrome, save it in the center of your screen on Firefox. Now Lightmatica requires the Molly Lib mod to work so we need to download that as well and it's in the description down below also. Once you're here, you want to scroll down and click on that yellow download button to be taken to the official MollyLib download page where we want to look at the right hand side and again scroll down until we find the 118.2 sec or version of MollyLib. Click the orange download button to the right of that and the download will begin after a few seconds. You may also need to keep or save that. There's one more thing we need to download and that's the mod loader that's actually going to allow us to install Lightmatica and MollyLib. That is Fabric. Fabric is the mod loader that Lightmatica uses, and of course, link is in the description down below. This is our dedicated Fabric tutorial. We're going to be going over the basics in this video here. However, if you do have any issues, this is the tutorial that can help you out. Once you're here, click this yellow Download Fabric button to go to the official Fabric download page, where you want to click on Download Universal Jar here, right? Click on that. When you do that in the bottom left, the Fabric installer will download on Chrome or in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. You may need to save it. Now if we minimize our browser here, we need to get all the files we just downloaded to our desktop. To do that, click the little Windows icon, top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, or in the center of your screen on Windows 11. Click on that little Windows icon and then type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder here. Open that up and drag and drop it to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, if these icons are different for you, that's okay. I'm going to show you how to fix that. But first, let's see if we can open up this Fabric installer file. Do that by right-clicking on it, clicking on Open With, clicking Java, and clicking OK. But Nick, I didn't have Java there. Well, that's perfectly OK. If you don't have Java or your icons don't look like mine, you can fix that with the same thing, and that is Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods, and Lightmatica is a Minecraft mod, so it's required. And in the description down below, we have an in-depth guide on downloading, installing, and setting up Java 17. It's actually really simple. It's three steps and you're done. Now for most of you, that'll allow you to open up Fabric, but if your icons are still broken or if you still can't open up Fabric, you need to run the jar fix. And this is gonna take all those jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work together. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, right click on Fabric, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. This is gonna open up the Fabric installer here, where we wanna make sure that 1.18.2 version is selected, which it is, and click Install. This is gonna immediately, very quickly, Fabric super quick to install, go ahead and say Fabric Loader for 1.18.2 has been successfully installed. Go ahead and click OK, close out of the Fabric installer, and you can delete the Fabric installer from your desktop. We now wanna go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here. Now when you open up the Minecraft launcher, you should have a Fabric profile, a Fabric installation in Minecraft. If you don't though, I'm gonna show you how to fix that. However, as we can see here next to the play button, there is the Fabric loader. If this isn't here, click this little arrow next to the play button and it's probably in this list. If so, select it. Don't click play, but select it. However, what we wanna do no matter what is come over here to installations. Now. If you already have this Fabric Loader here, just skip forward a little bit in the video. But if you don't have Fabric Loader 1.18.2, what you need to do is click on Modded and see if it appears. Right? If you click on Modded over here, it appears, then awesome. 
There you go. But if it still doesn't, click on new installation. You can name this whatever you want, but I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I doing that? Because that's our own incredible 1.18.2 grief protected survival server. It is amazing. Survival, Skyblock, you will absolutely love it. Come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on the version drop down box here. And then we want to select release fabric loader. Mine's toward the top. Yours may be down a little bit, but you want to select release fabric loader and then make sure it ends with 1.18.2. And then I'm going to change the resolution so we can see once we get in game. But we're now good to click create. Now we don't want to play Minecraft with fabric yet. We're going to do that after we install Lightmatica and Molly Lib. How do we do that? Well, on this installations tab, like I said, no matter what, you want to go to this installations tab up here at the top. You want to make sure the modded checkbox is selected, and then you want to go to your fabric profile. So that's going to be fabric loader 1.18.2 or the one you created. Doesn't matter which. Hover over this and click on the folder that appears here, this little folder icon. That's then going to open up your Minecraft folder. Then what you want to do is find your mods folder. Here's mine, but if you don't have a mods folder at all, like so, what do you do? Well, you need to create one. So right click, create a new folder, and then title this folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Go ahead and open up your mods folder. And now all we need to do to install Lightmatica is drag and drop Molly Lib and Lightmatica into the mods folder, right like so. We can now close out of this mods.minecraft folder. And then we want to launch up Minecraft. You can do this with either the fabric profile you created or the one that's there by default. Just click play and click play again. Once you have done that, it's going to open up Minecraft and Lightmatica is installed. It's that quick, simple, and easy to get the Lightmatica mod for 1.18.2. You don't even have to open up Minecraft until Lightmatica is set up. The only thing that is important is that you're playing Minecraft with Fabric. If Fabric's not what you're playing Minecraft with, it doesn't matter if Lightmatica is in your mods folder, it won't work. You have to play Minecraft with Fabric. And by the way, it might take it a minute to open up Minecraft after you have installed a mod. That's just perfectly normal. And if you do get like this white screen or this like, you know, loading icon, that's perfectly normal as well. But here we are loading into the Minecraft main menu. And unfortunately with Fabric, you can just see Fabric in the bottom left there. We can't see a mods tab or anything. So we're going to jump in game really fast. And I'm going to pull up the Lightmatica menu. Now, by default, you can easily see what your Lightmatica commands are and what, or sorry, not commands, but like controls are by hitting escape, going into options, going into controls, and then keybinds. Scroll all the way down and there should be a Lightmatica in here. At least there was in the past. Seems like they have moved that, of course. But no matter what, M plus C at the same time will open up the Lightmatica menu. So that was M and C on your keyboard, pressing those at the exact same time, opens this up here. And you can see all the different settings and some of the things you can do with Lightmatica, right? Now, if we go, I believe, and just hit M, not M plus C, you can see your schematic placements. You can do all the other stuff with Schematica, load schematics, all of that. But that's not what this video is about. That's what the video, again, at the either top of your screen or in the description down below, how to use Lightmatica is about. You have Lightmatica installed, so now you can enjoy it. Nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.